Good evening from Paris. We arrived in Paris the day before yesterday, so Saturday, it's Monday now. Um, I haven't even picked up the camera, so we've just been kind of like figuring things out. But so far the island is so, so nice. It's absolutely gorgeous. We went to Anti Paras today, which I would highly recommend if you are coming to Paras to make a day trip to Anti Paras. We spent the day there and then we came home, went to the gym, and now we're here cooking dinner. I had a great little session. I just did squats. I did like four sets of five with 90. Um, and then I did legs. At, oh, I did some bench and then I did legs. The gym is really nice, but everyone's like pure up on top of each other. I think it was just really busy. So hopefully tomorrow it's not going to be that busy. But it is pretty nice to be fair. Way nicer than the last one. Do we have any more news for them, Kate? Oh, our Airbnb is so disgusting. Oh my, oh my god. god. It's so bad. Like, it smells like vinegar. He cleaned out the fridge with vinegar. And we can't even like leave food open in there because it's going to smell like vinegar. And I literally have to hold my breath. Yeah, you really the fridge. Just... Yeah. <laughs> and like when you close it, you have to like run away <laughs> because <laughs> you know the smell is going to be there. It's so bad. And the first night we slept here, we literally got cramps from shivering. We were so cold. All we had was this sheet as a duvet. Yeah. And Greece isn't warm. Like it's not like Spain. It's actually cold at nighttime. Like you'd wear a jumper going out. And we were so cold. Um, we were literally shaking so much in the bed that we were both waking up with cramps in the middle of the night from like being like so stuck like that. My glutes were cramping up so much. I've had a kind of some, a lot of soreness in my glute recently. I need to sort that out, but it was cramping up like mad when we were so cold. And our Airbnb guy is so rude. I texted him and I was like, I hate him. I, hate him. I texted him and I was like, by any chance, could we have like another blanket for the bed? Cause we're both freezing. And he was like, well, if you have the air conditioning on in cold, of course it's going to be cold. You can put it on hot as well. But obviously the air conditioning has a timer like, so it's not going to be hot for the whole night. It's going to just go off. And obviously I didn't have the air conditioning on cold while we were trying to get to sleep and we were freezing. <gasps> He's so rude. And then tell him about the... anti Oh yeah. And then... I <laughs> He was like so nice and he picked us up and he was like, um, if you need anything, let me know. Like if you want to lift to the supermarket or anything. And I was like, oh great, like he's so nice. I texted him, how do we get to anti -Paros? He goes, you can check it in the internet, dot, 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 dot. And I was like, okay. So I just didn't reply to that. <laughs> and then he texted me like more than 24 hours later, sure we'd been to anti Paris at this stage and he texted me how to do it. I was like, sure, there's no point now. Like, I thought we got catfished, but then I looked at the pictures and they, they're they actually the you same. You know what, I remember booking it and we were pure stressed out and fed up. We, we were just booked anyway. Fridges. We just booked some yeah. the first thing we saw. Yeah. We booked the last couple of islands very quickly because we just wanted to get things booked because they were just hanging over us. We leave on Friday and then we go to EOS. I'm so excited for EOS. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Excuse my fringe blowing around the place. I've been fighting the urge to slick it back like every single day here because the wind does. Oh my god. I look like. It makes me look like I have like a receding hairline or something. But we are just off to go for dinner. We're going to treat ourselves today and go out for dinner. Um, but we're gonna go to the beach first and catch the sunrise and then we're gonna get something sunset. to Sunset, sorry. And then we're gonna go and get something to eat. I'm so excited because I'm so hungry and I'm get so excited. Yeah, we're gonna get a glass of wine and have some good food. We haven't had good food in a while. So I'm buzzing for that. Because all our pots smell like vinegar. Yeah, our Airbnb, it's actually getting worse, okay? So we'd no <laughs> hot water and you're not allowed to take the towels out side of the Airbnb but we've no hot water so we had to go to the gym to shower and obviously we brought our towels with us and then the cleaner was there for the first time since we got there days. yeah to change the towels like we've been using the same towel that whole time and she came to clean the place and she was like we got there and she started freaking out at us she was like where is the towel like why did you take it out? And like I was like, at us. yeah, and just looking disgusted at us. And I was like, hun, 
You have no hot water for us, so we have to walk to the shower and walk back and pay to use the gym to use the shower. Um, so I was like, that's not very cash money of you to be giving out to me right now. I was so annoyed. We didn't even care about the no shower thing. Like we literally laughed at that. Yeah, we but got when over it. yeah, and like we literally found it funny. Like we didn't actually care. But then when she started being rude, I was like, okay, no, hold on a minute now, because you're the ones in the wrong. It's not us at all. And then, oh, they were just so rude, like. And then she was like, why didn't you tell us then? And I was like, because every time we text you, you're so rude to us. We we're just like not talking to you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then came back again. Like she was, they were in our Airbnb like six in times and out, today. Like a blue rice fly yeah. And it was just so annoying because like that's our space, like we paid to stay there and they're literally there all the time. Like they'd come in, be like, is the hot water working? We'd be like, we haven't checked yet. They'd come back like seven minutes later. Like. Yeah, to be like, did you check yet? So eventually I was like, I'll just text you when we figure it out, whatever. Um, I had a shower and it was hot, but like if Kate wanted to have a shower straight after me, there wouldn't be enough hot water for her. So we came back then. Oh yeah, but before this, when they came back, she... I was sitting on the balcony and they were checking the water or whatever and she comes out to me and she's like your toast is burning in the toaster Bear in mind we're using a George Foreman Yeah we're using a George <laughs> Foreman to burn, toast like. our bread so I was like okay well I literally have to leave it in there for three to four working days for it to toast so I know it's not burning right now so then I just sit there on the balcony and I'm like yeah whatever close the door and then I go back in a few minutes later. Even if my toast was gonna be burnt to a crisp, I was I leaving like it. it. That way. <laughs> yeah, I was leaving it in the toaster just to be petty. Um, but I walked up to her then, I felt so badass because they were really pissing me off. And I was like, I've been so nice and like putting up with your rudeness. But I was like, my toast is not burning and it's not ready yet. So why was she even Shove checking on my bread? Ass. Yeah, why I was find she that so yeah. weird. Like it, we paid for the space, like why are you coming in and checking on our stuff? Yeah. And she was also like, when we told her about the cold water, she, before we told her, she was like, opens the door and is like, your dishes, are you gonna clean your dishes? Yeah, and Ooh, I was like, like we'll, yeah. we paid for the place, like we'll clean them whenever we want. Yeah. And like, you're the cleaner. Are you yeah. not meant to clean them? <laughs> it was so annoying. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, Demetrius. You're cancelled. <laughs> you're so cancelled. Cut it out. <laughs> it's our first night in EOS. We are so excited. We actually weren't planning on going out, but now we're here and the vibes are just immaculate. So we are going to go out. And we're having a little tricky poo. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so happy to not be in Paris anymore. Felicia's really dissing Paris. I really didn't like I Paris. Loved it. But I think um, you're a very like soft girl though. You love the little towns and stuff. And you don't. You should, I literally had to force you should go in the one night. Yeah. <laughs> that was the only time she went in and I went in every day. <laughs> Kate walked in every day and we I even tried like I actually tried because remember you went on a walk the first day and then the second day I was like okay I'll go on a walk I couldn't even find the streets and then I just gave up um but I liked the beaches and I just think Mykonos no I like you like the towns and I like you like a nice town and I like a nice beach and I think Mykonos had the best beaches. Yeah, but we didn't look for the beaches in Paris. Or in Axos. We didn't even or go to the beach in Axos. But <laughs> well, it was so convenient in Paris because it was like, it was yeah. such a trek anyway that it was the first one we saw. We were obviously not going to trek again. Yeah, that's so true. Um, and in Axos we had a pool, so we were not motivated to leave. But in Axos we had a really good routine, so I really liked Axos for that reason. And I didn't like Axos other than that reason. Yeah. Well, to be fair, same. So we had a little fashion show. I'm stuck between two dresses, a black one and a brown one. My hair is so greasy, so she's in a hella slicked back bun. And we're gonna do our makeup now and get ready. Do you have Charlotte Tilbs at home? No. You can try mine if you want. Thanks, so. I tried it when we were in Manchester. I really liked it. But I just don't know if I'm cut out for that. Really. If I can get my hands on the elf one, absolutely. But I'd way rather I'd just- have hands on the elf one, no? I don't think it was the right shade though. <laughs> and I wasn't prepared to spend money on the way to the holiday. <laughs> so 10 euro. Yeah, but still, girl, every little counts over here. Cut this out now. 
<laughs> get out so <laughs> I'm at that stage in my like hangover <laughs> everything is just so funny for no reason we've been absolutely weak all day um so we went to pre-drinks and then I didn't think I got that drunk at pre-drinks, you Me know. Me neither, but after remembering you. <laughs> you were you drunk. Did. Your mouth was starting to do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know the way you were like, the other day you were like, when I talk sometimes my mouth goes like that. No, I said you that about the girl in the violet. <laughs> no, you didn't. I said it about you. <gasps> okay, so what do I do? You're like... I don't know. It's just like a drunk aneur mannerism or something. I was gonna say aneurysm. <laughs> and then we went to this bar with like a ball pit in it. It was like a play area. Yeah, but it was so funny. But some people would actually smack the ball off you, and I was like, relax yourself. Um, and the jets. Like. <laughs> the jets, like. And then we went to. <laughs> Where did you go? Then. <laughs> Put open. <laughs> and then suddenly, <laughs> my life flashed before my no, eyes. No, you missed one pub. So we got the smelly bucket. Now we went into this other place with karaoke. I <laughs> mean, you should drive. Oh my god, I have no recollection of that. What? Yeah. That's. I'll show you this video. Oh, that was the guy singing, remember? He was singing, yeah. I just told you the story, I do remember. <laughs> I'm trying to teach Kate how to drive. We need to teach you, because I do all the parts, really. We need to teach you the parts. Mm. Um, I'm in a great mood now because um, we had such a good night last night. And then I got like a new system set up for my coaching and I sent it out to everyone today. So I'm just delighted that that's done and i feel like it's a good system in place now so i'm chuffed out with myself um i'm happy kate's happy my clients are happy what else could you ask for really world peace <laughs> world, world peace and bigger boobs <laughs> <laughs> world peace and bigger boobs <laughs> we pushed our beds together. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the next room. Yeah, it was actually really smart because now we've like this living space. <laughs> we've got this open floor plan in the middle of the room, which is really handy. We're renovating it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I've got like one bar of battery. I feel like every single time I turn on my camera, it's like nearly oh, dead. Is that, a, is that a me problem? Like, yes, is that a. Because it's all your appliances. <laughs> no, but is it? Do I need to get a new battery pack for my camera? I think I do. Like a bigger one. You just don't charge your stuff. Yeah, that's Never. true. Good morning. Fuck off, seriously. The I bugs are really this. annoying us here. Is it working or? Um, I don't think so. Not again. Not again. Okay, I have to check it again. Okay, thank you. I think this is the point where I stop vlogging. <laughs> we were saying yesterday, what what is the thing that we're most looking forward to when we go home? For me, it's a cup of tea with the hoodie on with my dog on my lap. What's yours? Mine is a cup of tea. In a hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. My chin news. <laughs> Kate. I asked Kate what she was most excited for. You'd swear we're going for like a year, by the way, I'm carrying on. But I was like, what are you most excited for? And she was like, just to chill out. And I was like, Kate, we're doing too much chilling out here. Like, but I meant like a cup of tea. A cup of tea back. and a hoodie and just being cosy. That's what the fuck is that? Like, show them that. You know, like yeah, I think it's like a ladybug or something. That's what we're dealing with. That's How we everyone live in Australia, Kate? Well, Emma's in Bali, and she sent me a video, and there's like a gecko like crawling around her ceiling while really? she was in bed. Yeah, you'd been able for that, like. I couldn't do that. I no, I couldn't do like, that. I, would I think that would make me want to go home. Same. Well, we had a gecko in our garden. Did you tell her that? Oh yeah, we had a gecko out here, but in fairness, there's a wall between us. Fucking things after coming down off the wall. Ew. Okay, right, catch you later. I'm not able for this. I'm too overstimulated. Hey, you did. Can we sit on your lap? Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse.
excuse my hair, I'm trying to get it curly for when we go out. I also <laughs> wasn't meant to go out today because I had one of the worst hangovers of my life. Just saying. Kate thought I was being dramatic. Kate said, just get out of the hangover. And I was like, no, I, I didn't, didn't think. Say yes, you did. That. You told me to get out of the hangover. Well, Alicia asked if she could take a painkiller so she could get sick. That's what's no, true. I didn't say you to did. get sick. I said I needed yeah, but to get sick. Should she, I get take a yeah. painkiller? <laughs> should I take a painkiller? That's the actual story. What is the actual story? Will I explain the actual story origin? Of our gym? Is that what you said? What's the actual story? I what? <laughs> I thought you said, will I explain the actual story with our gym? No, origin. Oh. Origin. <laughs> Go, explain. <laughs> Okay, so I was over at Kate's house and we were outside and we were um, just having some tea and some chats, but it was freezing, but we were determined to sit outside. And Kate's mom came out, and this is just so unlike her, and she said, Kate, what's the actual story like? And then we say it all the time. We need to the find out where we're having just a mess. A, a box. We need to suss out pre drinks, we need to get drink, and we need to get a move on. I need to do my hair. We're very busy. We're very busy, guys. Please don't contact me. I'm very, very busy. Yes. If I'm you want me, email me. I'm very busy. I'm getting bitten alive over here. I have like 20 bites. Don't even say <laughs> it. Don't, don't, even, don't even get started. Basically, you should never wear a bug spray. She'd be leaving the door open constantly. Like, she actually nearly invites the mosquitoes to sleep in her bed with us. We got how many hours sleep? Two? Yeah. Two hours sleep. We were out last night, we came home at half five, up at half seven for our ferry. We're on the ferry now. We're on our way to Milo's. You'd think that we'd fight so much more when we're hungover, but everything is just so funny when we're hungover. Like we laugh at the stupidest stuff. <laughs> do, do you want to share something with the vlog or <laughs> tell them about the way you think? What? You're missing. I was like, hey, to ask him for the bill there. And, and she goes, get his attention. Get his attention. And she just goes like this to the waiter. <laughs> Oh, that's so oh. funny. And Kate fell asleep with her hands <laughs> with <laughs> We put a cigarette between. <laughs> we put a cigarette between. An, An emoji. emoji. <laughs> and that is the end of my Paras and Eos vlog. I feel like I don't vlog the islands as much. I was realizing there when I was editing that video, I kind of just pick up the camera when me and Kate are like in the room or something. I don't really think to video the island and stuff, but I'm gonna try and make more of an effort now. But if you do want to see the island, um, I post more of that kind of stuff on my Instagram, so you can look at it there. My YouTube is just kind of me talking shit. So, but that's the end of this video, and I'm gonna start my Milos and Santorini vlog because we're in Milos now. So. See you in the next one.